in London, Chloe's deep underground and keeping out of the sun, which was a good idea because I'm still 80% sure her date Luke is a vampire. It's the third time that I'm going to actually see Luke, but it's our first date where it's just us. I've got to be open-minded about his banter. Just enough time to rearrange the bazooms. Hello. Okay. Good, how are you? Good, you look lovely. Thank you. Mwah. 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 Great some flowers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's so nice of you. It's all right. I've got to be honest, Luke looks seriously hot tonight. Andy bought me some beautiful flowers. I am impressed. Cheers. That's the problem with vampires, they can be such smooth bastards. I feel more comfortable this time. What about? Because when I saw you walk in last time, I was just like picking my jaw up. I'm not joking, I genuinely was like, you are looked beautiful. Well, thank so you. So then, then I was like a bit taken back. Was it and I looked nice the first time you met me? You looked lovely the first time I met you, but it was a speed date. So I was like, I haven't really, you know, got too much to lose because I haven't spoken to you before, etc. This is a conversation. Yeah, no. Flattery will get you everywhere. I bet it won't get him into contact with direct sunlight. I'm just saying, Chloe, be careful. One man who doesn't want to top up his tan is my favourite Twilight Extra Luke, who's getting a bit of a bruising from Chloe. So, I've been in the agency today. Have you? Totally slagged you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you did as well. <laughs> I told them you ain't got no banner. Oh, like a stake through the heart, that one. They said that I've got some questions that I need to ask you to get to right. know you. Yes. What are your passions? The howl of a wolf, virgin blood and blackout curtains. I love, like, property for me, like, buildings. Like, I have a massive interest in, like, architecture and, like, design and, like, spaces. So if you was on holiday, would you be, like, a proper tourist and you just want to walk around and look at buildings and take pictures of them? Yeah. I can appreciate a really beautiful building. Finally, something in common. But oh, when I'm on holiday, I definitely ain't spending the whole trip walking around and looking at shit. Oh, balls. Back down in the crypt, Chloe's taking a leaf out of Luke's book and going straight for the jugular. I did say you ain't got no banner, but you know that, don't you? Do you still think that? Yeah. Do you? Really? Chloe, that's not very nice. <laughs> that's really not nice. You're 300 years old, mate. You must know some knock-knock jokes or something. I really enjoy your company, that's so... Good. Well, that's good. So uh, maybe I right. might just have to be the funny one. I don't yeah. know. We're that's all right. I'm not sure I've laughed at any of your jokes yet, but... You've laughed. Have I? I've got one. Why did Chloe cross the road? Because you've got no banter. I do want to see you again, if you do. I would like to see you again, yeah. Yeah, you would? Should we go? Yeah. I thought my date went with Chloe went really well. I feel like we have a lot more in common than we probably thought we did on our last date. Though only one of you has a reflection. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're still doing the vampire thing. See you later. OK. Bye. Any kids? No. No, you're really shy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not ready. OK, that's all right. See you soon. Right, see you Bye. Later. See ya. Why didn't you snog him? Luke and I's first proper date went really well. I feel like I could have kissed him, but I just shit myself and didn't, and then made it all weird. Yeah, you don't be kissing someone with shit in your knickers, do you? Good decision, Chloe. Let's not beat around the bush. Luke ain't got no banner. I don't know, maybe I'll be the funny one.